What's going on guys? It is 2 Profu Games or Adam and welcome back to another one of my top 5 videos. And in today's top 5, we're going to be going over the top 5 assault rifles in Call of Duty Zombies. So before we get into the top 5, I gotta say this list was definitely a tough one to put together. There are a lot of good assault rifles in Call of Duty Zombies and I have to say, any one of these assault rifles on this list could easily be in the number 1 spot. Uh, they're all just so so good, so powerful, and so effective into the higher rounds. Uh, so this is just my personal list. These are just guns that I've used over time and think uh, perform the best in zombies. So kicking our list off at number five, I have the Commando from uh, Black Ops 1 Zombies. I don't say Black Ops 2 there, but from Black Ops 1 Zombies. And the Commando, um, it's good. It's definitely a good assault rifle, but when you stack it up against some of the other ones, it's really not the greatest thing uh, but the, but still the commando is a great weapon it's great not pack a punch and even pack a punch it's even better um, but with the commando upgraded all you get is a dual mag which I'm not too crazy fond of uh, it's okay I'd rather prefer like a red dot sight on the commando um, but overall the commando is a great weapon so coming in at number four on my list I have the AN94 yeah I know such a good weapon in the number four spot. There's a lot of good, like I said, there's a lot of good assault rifles, and it was tough putting these in the right order. But the thing about the AN94 is, it's an amazing weapon. Don't get me wrong; it's it's really good. On top of that, it's a wall weapon, so it's very easy to obtain. Uh, but when you compare it to some of the other uh, assault rifles, I find that this gun starts to dip down after round 30. You can kind of see. It's starting, it starts to struggle. Um, but other than that, this is an amazing assault rifle. Like I said, it's a wall weapon, so you can constantly replenish ammo. It has a ton, and I mean a ton of ammo, huge clip, tons of extra ammunition. And uh, also, when you pack a punch, just so you can get a red dot sight, so you have better accuracy. The AN94 is the best wall weapon in Call of Duty Zombies, an amazing assault rifle. So coming in at number 3 on my list, I have the M27 from Black Ops 2 Zombies. And the M27 is actually only available on Nuketown, sadly, because this is one of my favorite guns in Black Ops 2. And the thing about the M27 is it's just so effective into the high rounds. Now, the only thing about this gun, there's only one thing about this gun that I don't like, and I think the ammo count is a little low. Add a little bit more ammo to this weapon, and this thing would be an absolute monster, but just because it has such a low amount of ammo, uh, it kind of you can't use it as long as you want. Um, the iron sights of this weapon are amazing. I absolutely love the iron sights for this. So uh, the non pack a punch version very effective. On top of that, when you pack a punch this thing, uh, you can use this. 30 to around 40 somewhere in there and it's still going to be very very effective uh, when I go for high rounds on Nuketown this is one of the weapons that I'm looking for in the box in the high rounds to get me kills um, again if you go for headshots the thing's going to be amazing in the higher rounds so coming in at number two on my list, I have the Scar H from Black Ops 2 on Origins and the Scar is so overlooked on Origins just because in Origins there's so many good weapons on that map. You have all the staffs, you have the ray gun, the ray gun mark 2, the new the new LMG on that map. There's so many things on that map. It's just this gun is just so overlooked and the scar is an amazing weapon. I would have to say that the the scar is the best non pack a punch weapon and i'm not including wonder weapons this gun is so so good i absolutely love the scar h and then on top of that when you pack a punch it it is absolutely amazing one thing i love doing on uh, origins is using deadshot daiquiri with this weapon it's so good i love the iron sights on this weapon 
It's uh, my favorite. And I believe when you pack a punch this card, you do get a sight where it is available. Uh, you can pack a punch it multiple times. But overall, the scar is an amazing but sadly overlooked weapon. So like I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of these guns could be in the number one spot. And uh, I kind of went back and forth between this weapon and the scar for the number one spot. Um, but I have to put the Galil in at the number one spot as in as the best assault rifle in Call of Duty Zombies. And the thing that I like about the Galil is it's extremely effective um, when not pack a bunch. I think it's an amazing weapon. I love the iron sights. It's in Black Ops uh, 1 and Black Ops 2. Um, and pack a punch it's absolutely amazing and the only reason why I didn't put the Scar H in the number one spot is because the Galil is on so many other maps. The Scar is on only on Origins and on Origins there's so many better choices uh, like I mean the staffs and one weapons like that and um, the Galil is just on so many other maps and you have when you have the Galil on a map like Town or Farm or Bus Depot Maps that don't only have like the best, or, like a wonder weapon is like the ray gun. Uh, this becomes a uh, a weapon that you're constantly using, and it's in Black Ops One as well. So you get to use this gun a lot more than the Scar H, and the Galil is an absolute monster, um, both non pack a punched and pack a punched and I absolutely love it. So anyways, guys, that is all for now. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and also in the comment section below, let me know what top fives you want to see in my channel, and what are your top five assault rifles in Call of Duty Zombies. Peace out.